here. So tell us a bit about uh, that uh, that swim, the 2.7k swim. Well, it's a pretty good swim, but any swim, I reckon any swim in the islands is a good swim because the water is so clear. There aren't as many things as there are in, in places like Sydney to, to get in your way or to, to, to diminish from the pleasure of it. The water is much clearer. Um, you occasionally get a few a few bits of lice and a few stingy things and so on, but it's generally much clearer water, it's much warmer water, uh, generally 26, 27 degrees. We have swim up, swum up here when it's been 30 degrees. Mm -hmm. But like any swim as well, it's very important to, to navigate and uh, sometimes you just have to stop and look around. But um, people should get the, get the, uh, the, uh, the experience of, of lifting their head as they go along to make sure they're not straying too far off course, which is particularly important up here because there are currents and uh, the currents depend on the tide by and large. If the tide's yeah. running out, it will run one way. If it's coming in, it will run the opposite, the opposite direction. Uh, the great thing about the beachcomber swim is that it generally runs behind you, carrying you along. And, yeah. and if it does that, you know, it's, uh, it's going to give you a good boost on the way along to Treasure Island where you then turn left across to Beachcomber. No, we, we can't wait to get into the water, eh? Well, it's great water to get into. <laughs> right, even better up in the Asawas where it's that much more clean, yeah. that much cleaner and clearer. Yeah. and uh, more sea life as well. It really is a beautiful place to swim in Fiji. Yeah, all right. Okay, well, let's go then. <laughs> the race will start from that sandbank that we see on the horizon there, and um, we'll go back to Treasure Island Resort. We'll loop around those buoys there, and then we'll swim toward uh, Beach Comber. It's about 2.7 K total. Seeing you back here on the beach, enjoy your swim. It is one of the best you'll ever have. So good luck in your race. You all starting at 11 o'clock, the same time as the 2.7. Now the good thing about today's race, every boy is every boy or boy is on your left. Right, every single boy is on your left. Yuri, we're about to you. Okay, Yuri will be in a yellow paddle board, right, Yuri? That one there? He will follow the lead pack. No, they will follow me. They will follow you, exactly. <laughs> Just kidding, he's on the ball. Okay. Hi. 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 that the people that are doing the water safety, myself and the two others, and my son, are qualified yeah. and yeah. safe. Yeah. Yeah. This is what we do all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. promise you, you are the safest hands you can be. Yeah. I promise you. We're the doing safety. the bar and bean less than one hour. No, well, that you, that, that yeah. you have to go first. Yeah. First of all, this one? This one will be no, first. No, no. So yeah, a little bit further. Not much. Uh, I'll take your word for it. Promise you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll stick to that story. It's one of the most beautiful swims we've done. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Because well, as you go from here, yeah. to the other side, you go across the bomb bombers of coral. Yeah. And so you're just swimming along in deep blue, then coral. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Deep blue yeah. coral. All right, okay. So it's all gorgeous. You'll love it. All right, okay. Oh, nice fairy rock. Have you caught the fairy rock? Yeah, man. Fairy <laughs> rock, yeah. We've just uh, reached the red buoy, so now we are going to veer to uh, Beach Comber. 
and uh, that with the swim is absolutely awesome we've been through corals and corals just like an octopus garden so see you later <laughs> look at that <laughs> all right we go down like this okay buddy <laughs> yep <laughs> Ocean swim. We've got to do one. And so the next year we did. And this is the eighth year. Neil came along in the first and it's been a lot of fun. It's grown from, from not much to, to something and the quality of the swimming today, at least that's why I put it come my placing down to third last, the quality of the swimming today is fantastic. So well done. Um, now the winner of this race does uh, really Give us a good company. Uh, was Amy Thompson, 25 minutes and 57 seconds. 25 minutes. <laughs> well done, Amy. Congratulations, Amy. I, uh, I first met Amy on the beach at Sofitel, lining up against Darren Jones and Malcolm Allen. She said, who are these guys? I said, you know, Malcolm beat Kieran Perkins to get the 400 at Leander. Darren's won every race in the North Shore. So I said, I'm going to race these guys. I said, Amy, are you doing much training? She said, yeah, I just finished 80K last week. So I said, you'll go all right. Don't you worry. Uh, she led the first leg out, and you led them home today, 25 minutes 57. Amy, I know you probably do a lot of other stuff, but will that? Thank you very much. Um, so the 80k, it's nothing, just a warm up here. Um, yeah, it, I, it definitely hurt. I don't think I. It's my first race in a couple of years. I've had two years off and I did a bit of surf life saving. So I'm trying to get back into these big races because I really enjoy them. Is surf life saving your next goal? Are you doing open water swimming? Um, yeah, I did two years of uh, surf life saving for the Mumba Surf Club in Queensland. And I kind of want to get back into the open water scene now. So this was a really good race to start it off. Any high, high games, Olympics or anything, world championships in ocean swimming, in, in, in long distance swimming? Um, probably not Rio in 2016. That's a, I'm graduating from uni next year, so um, definitely the world championships, so that's something I'd love to do. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Great, go girl. We, uh, we, we love to I'm not afraid. 